Okay, everybody, what's up? It's on me, Tevin. Today's video is going to be about my um personal life and the things that I'm still dealing with right now. But this morning, I had talked about a um, I had mentioned on one of my um Facebook posts. I want well, I I shall both for the same post on Instagram and Facebook. But one of the things I talked about in the um, post were mental ill. I mean, mental. I think it was it was a mental breakdown. And I'm really not ashamed to admit that I had a few. I had four mental breakdowns. I had, and they all. The first three happened. The time between my I started my first year of college. This wasn't. This was at like a career um college. This was from May 2013 through May 2014. I had four mental breakdowns. The first one was in July 2013, right around the time I turned 21, and the next two were around the same time in 2014. I also was still 21. This was. I was I was adjusting to several things in 2014 that caused me to have those, like me starting college and me not getting the help I need while I was at college, and me being in special ed does in high school did not didn't doesn't mean anything. When you get when somebody gets over 18 and they are um are they doing things for themselves without their parents' help then. Special ed may help, may or may not help them later on in college, but I'm trying to go back to a school where I can um major fashion design with um with um with my knowledge and here in Alabama, we're, we, it's not enough fashion design resources here, and I actually. Talked. I actually asked um fashion designers, and I follow in Birmingham. I for, I follow one of them on Instagram. I forgot her name, and I asked her where she go to school at. I think she went to school in Atlanta, and that's probably why I have to go for to go to school for fashion design. I know Atlanta is a big a bigger city than Birmingham, and the the benefits I get ain't enough. So barely is enough to barely make it in Birmingham, and I'm still trying to find an apartment because there are some things I'm working on in 2018 that my, my that my folks do not um approve. I mean support approve. And another thing that pisses me off with that is oh man my um okay there you go. This is the camera on my computer. And one of the things that that, that um, my folks don't support me with is my books because ain't now ain't none of, nobody in my family bought one of my books and the only two people who did buy my book was one of somebody who worked in my farm and one of my IG followers, Evie. She also watches some of my videos, but I'm trying to say that I'm trying to stay positive and not be better and use a, a lot of unnecessary profanity in this video because I do have some profanity in some of my videos but I don't use them in all my videos because profanity is not needed in every video I make and if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram you know I use profanity a lot and um and my YouTube is different than that because I don't Cause I'm not like well I I'm the I'm this person around my Instagram and Facebook but I I don't act ratchet like a lot of people in my age group do do but I will let y'all know this I'm a 25 year old self published author who's been using they their SSI benefit to pay for a lot of um stuff. Cause I use my SSI benefits to pay to get my high school diploma, and my that that's how I pay for my first year of college before I stopped going. I stopped going. It wasn't because of the help, and that's because I got tired of my um tuition going up every month, and that means I got paid my money. It wasn't the fact that going up every month is the fact they wanted my payments to go up every month because of how my um financial aid was set up at that time. 
And the thing with that thing with that is in 2017, right before I went in the hospital, I actually was I actually wasn't satisfied with my life at that time because my book still was not published yet. And after I published it, I noticed a lot of things done got worse. Because a lot of people in my family don't support me as an author. They barely they barely mention me being one and and I talk about this on y'all, I talk about this on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook all the time. And I really could care less now because I'm glad I'm glad I sent my books to those few social media friends I did send them to. And I'm going to try to send gifts to all my um Instagram, Facebook and YouTube followers who were nice enough to send me gifts in the meantime. I haven't forgot about you all. It's just shipping costs a little here to sh and then I like to ship stuff and I like to ship several things at once anyway and the, so I can get so I can ship get content get the things to you all but me I I'm also um everybody I uh, many people should know me know that I'm autistic and that's that's a deal breaker to a lot of people but to me it is it is it, it is what it is that's and ain't that I can change about that. I can't change the diagnosis and that. And I don't let that break me. I I live up to, I um pushed. That's one thing that pushed me more to be an author. And that's one thing to push me with this book. This is my own first self-published book. And this is my first professionally published book. And these are both the same book. But I like this one better because this looks like my natural drawing here, and and I like that I made this look like a um real composition tablet. And this is also natural material because I actually scanned this cover from a um picture I drew in 2013 when I made this book cover because I got the bigger um Lulu version of this book with this cover, and I'm lucky. I saved that cover on my computer. Now I also got a smaller version of my other book. And this was the picture of me at the time I was may have. This was the time I published this other book. Wait, wait a minute. I think this picture is from 2015, and this picture may have been from 2016. And this was the book I published last year. Yeah, this picture was 2016, and this picture was 2015, and both of these were published in 2017. And this in this book, the quality they made this book from to be professional from a professional company, and both of these books have barcodes on them. And I created this on Create Space, and I'm glad that I did because this wasn't this wasn't the price point I wanted. Plus. This is my natural drawing, and I like when my books have my natural drawing on the front. This book also has my natural drawing, but it's in the story, cramped up in a page. Well, this is one of my natural drawings. I want to do more with... I could have did more if I want to, but that, that would have made production of this book cost more of that book costs as much as this one and I don't think this is worth fifteen dollars simply because how they made it I think this one is worth more towards fifteen dollars but this one is only $9.99 on Amazon and I will post the links for all of my books but another thing is don't let in don't let everybody else's bad judgment around you cause you to do things that lower your standards and your well-being because I've been in these situations with people I know that I've thought about it, thought to myself I don't I don't feel comfortable doing this and that this was when I started collecting toys and this is when I back in 2010 11 I was 
scared about it for a while, but now that I done got active on social media, I bravely buy a lot of toys and review them simply because I want my channel to, um, simply because I want my YouTube channel to see the content, see what, I sometimes I talk about these deals I find on Instagram and I try to talk about these deals I find on YouTube as well. Which is why I do this because a lot of these people aren't aware of all these deals, all these clearances and sales these stores have. And since I'm a toy collector, I've been at Toys R Us several times since the sale started. I think today was my last time because I had a pleasant experience with the manager. And while I was there, I bought what I was there for. I bought, some, I bought the stuff I was there for. And I'm going to talk about that in the next video, but... Another thing about business is if you're if you if you know your the store you're working at is going out of business, don't give the customers a crappy attitude. Cause the lady who said that, who the lady who got smart got smart with me, cause I said, oh the baby dolls are fifty percent off, cause I was looking at baby alive for my cousin who's three, and she said, oh they're believe what you want to believe. I knew she got an attitude, then I I started saying some I said something back to her. She said. Watch your attitude before I kick you out of the store. Trust me, she would have kicked me out of the store. Knowing I was there to buy something, I would have cussed her out completely. I was, but I would have cussed her out completely knowing me. I was like, hell for, I'm going to say this cleaner. I said, hell for, you don't tell me, you don't kick me out of the store. You see, I'm trying to spend money and I done got what I want in my hand. If you going to kick me out, I might as well walk out with this stuff anyway. But I, I just kept it cool. I just kept my cool and went on to browse the store more before I decided to check out. Because since this was my last time in Toys R Us, why not buy something there? But I done got it to the point that I, I done got to the point I don't care nothing about a lot of these people, even the people who work at these toy stores. And then the lady got smart with me because I told her. Um, the store is supposed to be closing up. Oh, um, man, I got I got a word for somebody in Toy Industry District. They said this store supposed to be all of them supposed to close June 30. Oh, this store closed June 27th with an attitude. But yeah, I'm a toy. I'm trying to be a toy designer, which is why I also have all these toys. I'm not gonna stop buying them. I'm gonna I'm gonna um move. I'm gonna move out soon because. Especially since I'm trying to get work in the toy industry and I am not comfortable I would not be comfortable being a toy designer living here because that mean More toys will be coming here and these toys I would bring if I was to be a toy designer would be stuff I, I Created so that's not gonna work here for me Which is why I don't mind which is why I'm kind of a little Iffy about me having stuff in storage, but I'm finna move out soon and I done, and every all these apartments are not recommended, but I'm gonna have to move soon. I don't care. Well, I kind of do care, but it's not safe anywhere, to be honest with you all. And I'm uh, before I before when I was young, I used to stay in a lower class, like apartments, like where um black people, like where we usually start off at in life, a lot of times, but. That doesn't phase me because that doesn't um, make me, that doesn't um, get me to the point that, okay, I don't want to move here. This is like, this could be like that anywhere. And these nicer neighborhoods could be just as pro problematic because I'm in Birmingham. Birmingham that got predominantly black now. We got more, our black population is bigger than Atlanta's. Uh, we got 74 to 76 percent black staying here. And I, I, I had to research that to confirm my suspicions was right because it, y'all, our school, all of our main school systems in Birmingham City are predominantly black. My, every middle through high school, we, every elementary, middle, and high school we got here is predominantly black. And, but we also have Caucasian and Latino students going to these schools, as well as a few Asian children. Cause everybody got to get to the point, even the people who stay in Birmingham trying to get, they want to go to these 
so-called school in these better neighborhoods. And the, let me tell y'all some of these better neighborhoods, they moving to here like Gardendale, Hoover, Trustville, and all that. Don't even want black people in their schools, which is why they trying to segregate these their schools here. And this came to my conclusion, because I didn't get, I kind of, I, I didn't graduate from the school. I passed everything in. I got all my credits from my original high school. Then I dropped out. Then I got my high school diploma online. That proves to show you that these schools here in America are, are useless. Unless, because a lot of the stuff we have to learn, we can learn without going to these public schools because everybody can get a high school diploma through online now it is just that easy because i got my high school diploma easily in 2012 and i try to tell people i tell people this all the time we don't have to sit in the we don't have to sit in no classroom for all these hours if we don't want to because when we can do our classwork at home on the computer i'm like i said i'm trying to go to a real college high school I got my diploma online through that program, and I will. I and that's how I got my diploma because I pa passed the. I did the, the the pro. I mean, high school diploma program for a few months, and now I'm and now I'm still here, even with a high school education. I still haven't found a job, but to be honest, I'm actually happy here. I'm following people in the toy industry that can help me, and. They gave me some knowledge on the toy industry, which is why I um, which is why I'm gonna be talking about these in 2018 and some of my later blogs. But that's all I had to say is this is it for this video. This is just me. This is just a random blog I decided to do today. I will be um going on Instagram Live tonight because cause I want to talk. I want to show you all something I got at Toys R Us. But at, while I was at um, Walmart today, I noticed they were finna, um, as they finna start stocking up in the new um, Barbie stuff. And I'm hoping, and my Walmart still got the dark skin made to move in the stocking area. But since it's summer, they better start producing more dark skin made to move. Because they've been popping out with so many new dolls at Mattel lately. I'm not buying the dolls for the dolls. I'm buying them for their bodies because I need those. I need the articulation because I got enough stiff body ones who need more articulation along with the many articulated ones I got previously. But yeah, this is it for this video. But this is it for me.